Matt Smith here with Family First Life, and this video is purely for new agents or any agents that are looking to get better at field underwriting as well as product placement. And I'm going to start with covering fully underwritten life insurance versus simplified issue. So fully underwritten life insurance is where they dig deep into the medical records of our clients. They take blood and urine. They hold their height and weight against them. They hold uh, any medications against them. And there's table ratings where if it comes back and they see medications, their build or any family history, the price that you quote generally go up. And depending on how bad it is, the price can go up significantly. Now, traditionally the ads that you might see on TV, the $10 a month for 500 grand is someone in perfect health that has an extremely good build. For example, you know, I'm 6'3", 230 pounds, and they would want me to be about 190 pounds to get the preferred plus rating that you would see on TV or any advertisements uh, on the internet as well. So the difficulty in that business is it takes generally 68 weeks to get a product place or even an answer back. And with that said, I, I highly would not recommend unless, unless you're trying to replace a product, writing any sort of fully underwritten due to, due to the clientele that we're dealing with. Most of the clientele that we're dealing with are people that have ailments and are looking for non-medical or simplified issue products. Simplified issue, we still have the health questions. We still have to understand medication and ailments, but the price will be the same. They either will be approved or denied. So the second scenario that I can cover is you need to make sure and get a general understanding of medications. The easiest way to do this as you get into the field is actually Googling the medication because it will say if you Google simvastatin, it will say for high cholesterol. Or if you Google lisinopril, it will say high blood pressure. Or if you Google you know, metformin, it will be for diabetes. So right now you might not know medications, but you'll get, you'll get reps pretty quickly and you'll understand what medications are or not. And then the ones you don't, just make sure you Google. Uh, and, and you'll start to understand the ailments that go with the medications that people are taking. Because that's... As a field underwriter, that's the first and foremost thing that you need to understand is always, 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 before you quote any price or product, make sure you understand the medications, make sure you understand surgeries, and more importantly too is there's a big difference between maintenance on medication and if they change their maintenance on the medication. So if there's someone that's taking you know, a blood thinner and they're changing their dose or they're changing the types of blood thinners, that can affect underwriting, for example. And these are, these are questions that you need to ask your clients for you to make sure that you're giving your clients the best chance to get the best policy for what they're looking for. Um, all of our, all the carriers have underwriting guidelines. These are extremely help, helpful because you need to make sure that you understand the build charts that are in effect with simplified issue products. So if you're a pound over on a height and weight scenario for simplified issue products, you will get declined. It's one of the first things that uh, new agents really don't pay attention to is the height and weight of their clients in regards to simplified issues. So it's important. Every single underwriting guide has build charts. It's important for you to understand this as well. Uh, every carrier for the most part that we do business with does electronic applications. The great thing about this is it's not a paper app you're dealing with an SSL encrypted application straight to the carrier. It allows you to usually get a flawless application where you're not making a ton of mistakes. And I'd highly recommend using an e-app. So if you don't have a hotspot on your phone, I would get one. Generally speaking, I use a client's internet at their house, but I think it's important to have a hotspot on your phone if you're gonna be out in the field and you're gonna need internet, you need to have both uh, available to you. Uh, underwriting, uh, underwriting guidelines, uh, quoting software you can find on our FFLINWMentor.com site. So FFLINWMentor.com is a great place to get started because you'll have, we'll have steps of getting started one through eight. You can plug into the different cultures and different aspects that we expect for you to be a part of. And then it also is going to give you the ability to get the quoting software from every single carrier that we represent in one place. 
that's extremely important. So make sure that you utilize the tools on that website. There's also like top 10 agent training videos. I'd highly recommend going through all of those. We have a three hour boot camp, for example, that covers a lot of different aspects of what we do. Dive into those training videos because it can only help uh, advance you in this in this uh, in the field. So, uh, in in regards to your in field questions, here's what I'd recommend: after you set appointments, call your manager that hired you and talk to them about what do I write on a six year old nail? I've got an appointment tomorrow, and we'll tell you. We'll be able to tell you what to write. Uh, and if you're in the field, just text your manager, hey, I'm with clients, I got a quick question. I guarantee they pick up. You just need to make sure that you tell them that you are with a client and text them in the house. That's a, a great way to learn quickly and learn on the fly and still be effective is having your manager and a good upline as well. The next, next thing is if your manager is not available, we have Telegram where you can join our group and you can ask underwriting questions, you know, get an answer for one of the managers there. So we have some levels of training available for you as far as if you don't understand something, you can either ask your manager or group and you'll, we'll get it taken care of for you as well. A couple other things that I think is important to understand is America pays the highest compensation. It's really our first and go-to product that we like to lead with because if you do $40,000 in the first six months of business, they'll give you 8% back in a check that you can use for whatever you need, whether we want to invest it back into your business or you want to take a family trip, pay off debt. It's totally up to you. It's your money. But I love Americo simply because it has the best products for your clients and it also pays you the most. So I want you to think Americo first when we're talking about underwriting and product placement. Uh, a, net, a couple of interesting things about Americo is their apps are unique because you get an instant decision in the house. On the two products that I'll talk to you about today, you're gonna have an instant approval right in the house. And for their HMS series, they approve 86.4% on the spot. So for the vast majority of all the underwriting you're going to do, you're gonna have an answer and it's gonna be the approved answer in the house. For their final expense, their Eagle Premier, it's at a close to 89% approval rates. So you're gonna be able to get an instant approval and if you don't get the approval on the spot, you're, we're gonna be able to help you pivot to another product. So I think it's important because not all carriers have instant approval to use Americo for that, uh, that alone because you're gonna be able to help pivot you and get you to the right direction to another product because once you leave a house, if you leave a house without an application check, et cetera, it's really difficult. It's really difficult, difficult for you to get, get the business. So instant approvals is a game changer for your business because it allows you to have the attention that you need to the details and it allows you to continue to uh, work through the process of getting your clients covered. Uh, a couple things that I want to share with you in regards to living benefits. Uh, living benefits like critical illness, that's ALS, kidney failure, invasive cancer, major, major organ failure, heart attack and stroke, that's critical illness. That's with whether it's Mutual of Omaha, Americo, uh, even Foresters has critical illness. Those are important for you to understand because if they can't perform, you know, for example, chronic illness, if you can't perform two out of six daily living activities for 90 days straight and you have a physician letter, they will advance a portion of that death benefit depending on the carrier. Uh, Mutual of Omaha does 80%, Americo does 100% of their living benefits. That's one of the other reasons why we like Americo. They have a terminal illness uh, living benefit where if you are not living 12 months or less, they'll advance the death benefit as well. The crucial thing that you need to understand, which most insurance producers don't understand when it comes to living benefits is, if you, you could have a mild heart attack, for example, and not get advanced the living benefits. What do I mean by that? They, living benefits are purely advanced, whatever percentage it is, and it goes to an underwriting process. If it's a massive heart attack, they're gonna advance up to 100%. But the difference is this, they go off life expectancy. So it's important for you to understand, like if you have a, you know, a mild or medium grade heart attack, right? and they say you have three years to live, that payout is going to look different. Or if you have cer certain types of cancer where you're not gonna live as long, those are gonna, depending on the life expectancy, like I said, that's how living benefits get paid out. It's important for you to understand that, you know, Americo is up to 100%, Mutual is up to 80%. Mutual does something unique where you get to keep the other 20%. 
as life insurance and they actually adjust the premium down to the extra 20% that they're paying. So some, some good things there for, for Mutual of Omaha as well. So now I'll get into um, some product placement uh, scenarios for you. First, let's start with our Americos HMS Series 125, and they will do cash back options from age 18 to 60, so they get a full cash back. Living benefits, it's a level premium, a level death benefit, and if you die of an accident, that 125, so if you got a $100,000 death benefit, and they die of an accident, it goes to 125,000. That's what that 125 is there for. If you sell an HMS 150, it goes up 50%. So that's that's important for you to understand as well. They do offer term without cash back from ages 61 to 75, uh, but it still has living benefits. So that's extremely important because most carriers, just as far as like a disability policy, they don't offer disability past age 61 like a standalone product. Now, living benefits is certainly not disability and it's not long-term care either, but it can act as, as a portion of some sort of major catastrophe. If something happens to their health, they can at least have some money for them to make mortgage payments, take equity to the house and do some, do some creative things with that. So to have living benefits all the way up to age 75 for, for a product is, is pretty phenomenal. Uh, Simplified issue, generally speaking, is a $250,000 face amount. If you go above that, you'll have to do it fully underwritten. So you have to help navigate and understand how to sell you know, $250,000 face amounts to clients. And we'll talk about that a little more here in a, in, a, in a minute. If you do enough business with America, they'll do up to a $300,000 simplified issue on that uh, HMS series product. So that's important for you to understand. And again, they pay higher than anybody because you get that extra 8% as well. Uh, as far as Mutual of Omaha, their Term Life Express products, so we're purely talking about term products right now, they do ages 80, 18 to 70. Uh, they have the living benefits. It's up to $300,000 face amount. What Some of their niches are, are of this. They do a knockout application. So with Americo, you're going to need medications. You're going to do a little more underwriting, but you will get an instant approval on the spot, which I love. With uh, Mutual of Omaha, you have knockout questions. So if they answer no to all the questions, they should be eligible. If they answer yes to one of the questions, they will not be eligible. It's nice if you're newer, just simply because if they answer yes, they're not gonna get it. There's no reason to submit it because it's important for you to have uh, a good amount of your business that gets placed with the carriers. The other thing that is very important is for you to hold a minimum of 70% of your policies that sell stay on the book. So that's called persistency. So you need to hold a minimum of 70% throughout all carriers. Otherwise, if you continue to write poor business and it falls off the books, that you can be terminated for that. That's important for you to understand as well. And on average, I would say I've seen anywhere from 20% of business fall off, fall off the books. So it's pretty normal to have 20% of your business fall off for one reason or, other, or the other. One of the things that Mutual of Omaha does with that Term Life Express that, that, is a, that is a great product is they do do insulin diabetes. As long as they weren't diagnosed before age 50, they will cover someone with insulin diabetes. Uh, the other thing that they'll, that they'll have is, like I said, is knockout questions. So that's important. With, with Americo on their HMS series, uh, they will do oral diabetes, so like metformin, glyphosate, etc., and they generally want the H1AC to be seven or below. So when you're giving specifics on the products and you're diving into more underwriting questions, if a client says their H1AC is nine, they're probably more of a final expense client, for example. Or I'll talk about another company that may cover cover that as well, which is John Hancock. They're a simple term. One thing I do like about John Hancock is they do ages 18 to 60, uh, up to $500,000 worth of face amount for, for simplified issue. Uh, they are currently uh, bringing out return of premium available on the product. They have an 18 question knockout application. The interesting thing about this is most carriers have, which is this important, I'd actually tell you to carry this with you. They have a medication decline list or prescriptions that they will not cover for clients. So 95% of cases that are declined with John Hancock are due to medications that are on their knockout list. 
So they have a knockout medication list, and you know, if someone takes a, a specific drug and you're thinking, gosh, I'm not sure if it's covered, if it's not on there, they'll probably approve it. So that, that's important for you to understand as well. Things that they do well at John Hancock, they do insulin diabetes after age 40. That's a big niche. They do up to 500,000 simplified issue. They do clients that have hepatitis A, B, and C. They do colitis, that's, that's okay. Um, they do have the, their product benefits uh, are you, get, you can get an Apple Watch for $25 or a free Fitbit. And they basically have a vitality program where if you utilize their like their healthy food benefits and shop at the designated grocery stores, you can get up to $600 of grocery discounts per year, which can come close to reimbursing your whole policy. Um, also, if you have three years of their platinum coverage where you've been showing that you're staying in the fitness and you've been, you know, with your Apple Watch, you, you give them data on that. When you participate in the program, you get a free Amazon Prime membership. They have a Headspace meditation app that you get for free, as well as some access to like Hotels.com, where uh, instead of 50% booking, you get 100% full booking. Uh, also, one of the unique things is you can get 10 to 15% premiums in cash back to your bank account if you follow that vitality program. So I believe this product is great for a lot of millennials or people with larger mortgages because of the $500,000 face amount. So make sure to utilize that as much as possible. Um, the next product is your Forrester Smart UL. Uh, you can do ages 18 to age 75, um, up to 250,000. The age I really like for this product is actually age 71 to 75. So very niche uh, product for you. They do up 150,000 uh, face amount. It's got living benefits. The current interest rate is 4.3% on the non-guaranteed side. And it's actually not based off of the S&P 500 or stock market. It's based off of the company's performance. It's about as low as I've ever seen. And I've seen it as high as 5.9. The floor is 2%, so it can't go lower than 2%, which is pretty cool. Um, but really that 71 to 75 is, is a great scenario and a great product for this. The other thing that uh, is nice is they'll actually do smokers that are diabetic. I think that's important to understand that because if you're a smoker and you're a diabetic with any other company, they will decline you. So if you've got a smoking diabetic, go to Foresters because that's the only way you are gonna have a chance to get them qualified. Uh, also, um, they, they have living benefits just like, uh, you know, Mutual of Omaha as well as uh, Americal too. So utilize that for, uh, if you need to go down to $25,000 face amount up to 150, Utilize that for a little higher face amounts that uh, don't fit into the final expense category and are healthier. Uh, Mutual of Omaha, uh, their index universal life product is, you know, age 18 to 70. Uh, they go down to a minimum face amount of 25,000 up to 250,000. And the, the ages I like for this is 61 to 70. So at, because we cannot offer cash back after age 60, when I have like a 61, to age 70, I'm gonna do this Index Universal Life with Mutual of Omaha because it's the first actual simplified issue Index Universal Life product that's available in the marketplace, pretty awesome. So it tracks with the S&P 500, you have a 0% floor and a cap, just like any traditional Index Universal Life. The current interest rate's 6.13%, it just tracks with the S&P 500, which is the top 500 stocks in America, which out earns 96% of mutual funds, by the way. It still has all the living benefits and if you want like illustrations, I'd highly recommend just emailing Kim. She's part of the advanced market uh, sales team and her email is Kim at amslive.com. You can get illustrations. Anytime you're, you're uh, dealing with ULs and index universal life type products, I'd always make sure to get the expense report too because that will break down the cost of insurance and give you a much better understanding of how index universal life or universal uh, life products work and it will, allow you to explain to the clients exactly the same thing, which is even more important. And in, when it comes to larger cases or bigger cases, Global Atlantic, their Lifetime Builder Elite product, it performs at 7.63% on the S&P one year point to point side. They do have fast lane options. What fast lane is, is it's not simplified issue, okay? So they'll go up to age 60 if you're 
you know, if you take like blood pressure and cholesterol, fine. If you're diabetic, it's simplified issue. You would not qualify for the fast lane or you'd have to do it fully underwritten. And again, fully underwritten takes, you know, six to eight weeks to get policies placed, generally speaking. Uh, the, the cool thing about their fast lane, though, is if below age 50, you can do up to a million dollar face amount without blood and urine. 55 is 500,000 and uh, up to age 60 is 250,000 in their fast lane option. So you could actually do like a, with a healthier client with bigger face amounts or higher premiums, you could actually do uh, a policy probably within about 10 days uh, to get placed. Cause they do a 48 hours after they, you do an application, they do a phone interview with the client uh, just to ask the same questions that you already asked, but they do a little due diligence there. That's important for you to understand. And again, if you need illust illustrations, I'd ask Kim, Kim at AMSlive.com. Uh, in regards to uh, our final expense options, uh, I will go over specific ailments at the very end and give you a better understanding on how to navigate and work through that. But it really starts with Americo's Eagle Premier product. That's our flagship product. The reason I love this product is the liberal underwriting. Uh, their questions are only in the past two years. So someone could have a heart attack three years ago or cancer three years ago and get this policy. That's pretty, pretty amazing type underwriting. The other thing that's huge is you get an instant decision in the house. So you'll get a policy number, everything right on the spot, get day one level coverage right off the spot. That's, that's a huge benefit for you and the client as well. Their, their niche though is if you're dealing with a smoker, they get non-tobacco rates and they have three years to show a 12 month continuous non-tobacco rate. So they'll take a, uh, they'll take the, uh, saliva kit test they can send it in america if they've not smoked for 12 months their, their rates will stay non-tobacco and they have three years to change that and then after three years if they don't change it will go to smoking rates but if you're meeting with a smoker for final expense uh, oh man eagle premiere every single time because you're going to be able to quote them non-tobacco rates which which is huge the other thing i could tell you that is huge is like i said those those past two years is important uh, obviously between 8% and 10 points higher than any other final expense product, that's 18% difference in final expense. So if you're not leading with Eagle Premier, you're not getting your clients covered quickly. You're not, because final expense is simple. It's just all about affordability and getting clients, uh, getting clients covered for their budget. So if you're not, if you're not using Eagle Premier, Premier you're going to be looking at an 18% decrease really potentially in, in your in your pay too. So that's important for you to understand. Mutual of Omaha's Living Promise, they go ages 45 to age 85. Uh, they go up to a $40,000 face amount. Uh, they have four years on a lot of their questions. So in the past four years, have you had cancer? If you answered yes, you would not qualify. If they answered you know, heart attack, yes, you wouldn't qualify. So a little pick your underwriting, uh, their pricing is good. Their niche is going up to 40,000 and going down to 45 year old and going up to age 85. That's important for you to uh, understand. Uh, Transamerica, their immediate solutions app, Th their niche is ages zero to age 45. Every other final expense carrier you can't cover. So if you have someone that's age 40 that you know had cancer four years ago, Transamerica is a good way to underwrite them and get them cover other than like an accidental death po policy as well. They'll do up to 50,000 up to age uh, 55. They'll do 40,000 up to age 65, 30,000 up to age 75, and then uh, 25,000 up to age 85. The other two things that's important to understand with uh, Transamerica is they'll offer COPD as a standard rate, so level coverage from day one. Uh, that's, that's kind of their wheelhouse right there. Also, they do uh, ACH uh, is allowed, so they'll take a credit card for payment, that's very unique to, to them and AIG. No other carrier will take credit card for payment. That's important for you to understand as well. AIG is a guaranteed issue product. What that means is there's no health questions. It's also under, it's also important for you to understand on guaranteed issue products that your commission is significantly less. Uh, anytime there's no health questions, there's a higher risk to the insurance company, so they're gonna pay us less, which is fine. They advance only 50% compared to all the other products being advanced 75%, but with guaranteed issue, most carriers only pay as earned. So as they pay, you would get paid. That's important for you to understand. So it's nice to get advanced 50% compared to just as earned. They'll go uh, 50 to age 85, 5,000 up to $25,000. ACH is allowed. And there's a two year waiting period on their app. So no health question. The app literally takes probably eight minutes to do and you get a policy number on the spot. 
but you have a two year waiting period where they get all their premiums back plus 10% on top of those premiums if they died in the first two years. After two years, it pays the full, full face amount. Um, next carrier is Royal Neighbors, their simplified issue whole life product. The reason why I bring them into play and only one reason is they don't ask for height and weight. So if you have a client that's 500 pounds um, they have no build chart and no that question's not on the app. I would recommend Royal Neighbors. So they have a uh, telephone app only. So it's important to have the paper app with you so you can ask the health questions and have their banking information in front of you. It's about an 18 minute call. And at the end of the call, you'll know whether they, they uh, qualify or not. It's also important to have the medications out that they take and available too. They are good at diabetes with neuropathy, uh, which is another little niche they have for, for Royal Neighbors. Uh, American Amical, Am Amical's Senior Choice product, the, the reason I like them, they'll give level, co level coverage from, from day one with COPD. That's kind of their niche as well. So those are like our go-to final expense products. The one thing I would say, again, is because of instant decisions, the game changers is gonna allow you to pivot to a different product if need be in the house. And if you gotta remember, if you leave the house without a check or without the business, there's you know, a really, really high chance that you'll never get back in the house and you're not gonna be able to cover those families. So make sure if you do get a decline on an instant decision or whatever it might be, you can pivot to a different product. That's just calling your manager and saying, hey, I'm, I'm with John and Mary and I got a decline. Here's their ailments, what would you recommend I do? And we'll be able to tell you right on the spot. Just, you know, the key component is communication. You text your manager and say, with clients, got a quick question. And, and make sure that you ask those questions so you can get better. As far as fully underwritten products like our term products, Mutual of Omaha's Term Life Answer is gonna be your best pri price product. They go from eight, age 18 to 70. And that's really more for like, if you're trying to replace a policy or if you're in a super competitive life insurance scenario or a larger $1 million, $2 million face amount type scenarios that you would use, just understand it's gonna be six to eight weeks and understand that there's table ratings involved and be very patient. Um, and usually most people lose a lot of interest in fully underwritten. That's why I love Simplified Issue because we get our, our clients covered from day one and, and they don't lose interest and they understand the importance of life insurance. So, but that's just so you're aware, that's what I would recommend as far as fully underwritten uh, life insurance rates. Uh, the other product that, uh, kind of last product that I would go over with you is the Guaranteed Advantage with Mutual Valha. That's our Axel Dental Death product. And that's from ages 18 to 70, up to 500 grand. You can do a family, you can do family and children. Um, very well priced, uh, good comp on that too. Uh, and that's a great product to pivot to when you get a decline. Cause again, no health questions and they don't even ask uh, any driving record questions. So for example, we'll get into some, some of these common scenarios right here, like a DUI. They don't ask that, you could have a DUI and get, get that product. Okay, that's important because they don't do any sort of motor vehicle check. Um, the other thing I would tell you about, about uh, DUIs is most carriers want five years or less if you're gonna be uh, approved with a DUI, um, or excuse me, five years or more. Uh, the unique thing for Americo's HMS product, if it's been two years after two years, uh, they will cover a DUI. Now, if you have multiple infractions, they're not gonna cover it, obviously. But uh, that's why that HMS series is a, a great product as well if you, have, if you have DUIs. Builds, remember to always check builds on every single client because you don't wanna quote them a price that they can't get, just do their build. Don't make that error. You shouldn't make that error ever if you're in the field. So make sure you, you, you know, use our you know, FFLINWmentor.com site, click on underwriting guidelines and check out the build charts. You know, that's, that's important. Um, some other different ailments you need to be aware of that you know commonly come up in uh, underwriting is congestive heart failure. That's going to be a guaranteed issue AIG product. Uh, no, nobody will cover them from day one. Uh, COPD, like I mentioned, uh, American Amical as well as Transamerica are the two companies that I recommend if you have COPD. Uh, you can't do it with Eagle Premier or Living Benefits. So COPD is always final expense to give you an idea. If you have a bipolar or PTSD client, the thing I like about Eagle Premier is they'll cover that. Generally speaking, with term products, if you're bipolar or have PTSD, you probably won't get covered. Uh, one of the key components is if they're seeing a psychiatrist, they definitely won't get coverage for term. So it really depends on the medication, which is 
my point is you need to make sure and be aware of the medications they take and what is it, how severe is it, and that's going to tell the story on, on the PTSD and, and, and uh, bipolar. Organ transplants is always AIG, guaranteed issue product. Uh, cancer, so if you have cancer and you had cancer three years ago, you know, Eagle Premier will cover you. You wouldn't be eligible for the term products. So with term products, the one thing I do like about Foresters is their questions are in the past 10 years. So if you had a client that had cancer 11 years ago, you can use one of Forrester's product, either their strong foundation term or a smart UL. That would be something that I would use Forrester's with. The other, the other scenario that I would use Forrester's with is if you have a smoker that is a diabetic, an oral diabetic only. So if you have a smoker that's an oral diabetic, Forrester's is the only company that's going to give you a shot uh, as far as simplified issues are concerned. No one else will, will approve, approve that type of coverage. In regards to heart attack, same scenario. If it's two years or less, uh, you're going to be AIG. If it's after two years, you could do Eagle Premier. And again, uh, for term, if you had a heart attack, you want to be past 10 years because like Mutual of Omaha asked the question ever, uh, you'll have to look at AmeriCo's application too to see if they go past 10 years like Forrester's. Those are important things to understand. Heart surgeries, if you're a year out, you'd still be eligible with a final expense product like uh, Eagle Premier. That's important for you to understand. Uh, if you've had heart surgeries four years ago, you're still not gonna be eligible for term, for example. A lot of people get, get confused uh, about that as well. I think the, in closing here, I think it's important for you to understand that utilize that instant decision um, because that's gonna allow you to pivot in the house, get people, people coverage from day one, and it doesn't hurt your, your placement or your persistency. As, as, I, as I mentioned, it's important for you to at least have 70% persistency with your carriers because if you get below that, you're probably looking at termination. So uh, in the industry, I generally see about 80% hold rate. So about 20% of your policies will fall off. That's pretty normal. But if you get below that, it means you're not building value in the house or you're not understanding your underwriting that well. And these are all reasons why I wanted you to watch this short video to give you, give you some tools to really be effective in the, in the house. Make sure that you talk to your manager and understand this, action solves all fears. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, man, that seems like a lot of information. It's not. I promise these, these products are simple. They're easy to understand. I just want to give you a broad overview of what they are. And, uh, you know, run your first 10 appointments. You're going to find out a lot of ailments, a lot of medications. Run, run your first 100. You'll need, know everything you need to know. And then you, your questions will go to, you know, you'll be talking about the one percenters like this client had X, Y, Z. What should I do? It's like, oh, that's never happened to me in the 12 years I've been doing this. But here's what I would do. So you answer a lot of questions with action. Uh, I hope this video helped. I appreciate you guys plugging in, plugging in, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot.